tail of the tape on this fight. Look at that record. We're talking 17 and one prior champion in other organizations. This is one of the best Bantam weights you will ever see. Here's Michael C. Williams. For all those that have joined us tonight on the various platforms around the world for the prelims here at Bellator 255, we conclude now with three five-minute rounds in the bantamweight division. Introducing the blue corner at five foot six, weighing in 134.4 pounds. His professional record: 15 wins, seven losses from Hartwell, Georgia. CJ, the Autobots. Hamilton! And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot seven, weighing in 135 pounds, even just off his successful Bellator debut. He returns with 17 professional victories, just one defeat. Fighting out of Mahatskala, Dagestan, Russia, Magomed, Tiger Magomedov! In charge, your referee, John English. John English will oversee this uh, bantamweight uh, battle between Magomed Tiger Magomedov in the red gloves and CJ Hamilton in the blue gloves. Blue, you good. Red, you good. Round one. Let's go. Bell and round one. What, exactly what I think CJ needs to do. He needs to be elusive with his footwork. He likes to switch back and forth between the orthodox and southpaw style. Keep doing those things, and when you get your chance, don't try to do the big shots. Just keep touching him and making him pay when he comes inside. Magomedov with that spinning back kick that almost countered by Hamilton. Magomedov has seven first round finishes, two knockouts, five submissions. Was looking for the electric finish fast. Every time that I've watched Magomed fight, when I refereed him, just a very systematic guy that just continues to put pressure on his opponents everywhere there is in the fight. Pouncing on Hamilton. Looking for that guillotine. Armin guillotine. Nice job by CJ to pull his head out. And that is Magomedov's trademark submission. He has four guillotine choke victories already. He does, and he's got a very tight guillotine, and he's very good with his little trips. You'll see him taking, he's gonna be kicking the feet out from CJ. CJ needs to be careful of his balance when inside. Magomed, Magomedov, the number five ranked Bellator MMA bantamweight, newly minted champion Juan Archuleta will defend the title against Sergio Pettis. Coming up in May. Now Jackson, or make that CJ Hamilton, excuse me, beginning to open up, body kick. CJ needs to be careful of getting close to that fence. Nice sidestep there by Magomedov to attack the leg. Right now, what you're looking at is Magomedov is looking to just pass the legs to come out of the side. And you see CJ trying to hold that position so he come on top. Nice job by CJ, even if he just gets away. Hamilton doing that sprawling and knee up the middle by CJ Hamilton. You see that little trick that Magomedov does as far as he claps down on the wrist area with his arm because that glove is now stuck in that position. Little tricky move. Midway point of the first round. Magomedov fencing with the jab. The softball, Hamilton. Just, go. Just a little bit as you're looking at this, and we're now about halfway through this round, Moral, but you're seeing that CJ, who was coming out bouncing and moving a lot, getting a little bit more flat-footed, which is only going to give Magomed more opportunities to get in these types of positions right here. Two minutes left in the first round. Magomedov with the single leg, secures the takedown. Now to top position, wanting to pass guard. That butterfly into side control. Beautiful movement, nice transition. Keep working. Yeah, keep working. Keep working. Yes. Come on, now the other way. Back and forth. Don't settle. Don't settle. Keep a lot of work. Go ahead, John. A lot of work by CJ here. I like what I'm seeing. 
but can he continue on with this because it's a lot of energy being put out. And Hamilton, very active on his uh, back. Now back into uh, side control. The Magomedov wanting to achieve full mount now on his feet, dropping a couple of right hands before diving into beautiful transition. Yep, the full mount as Hamilton near the fence. Now Hamilton gives up his back. Magomedov putting the hooks in. He does have a rear naked choke submission win on his resume. No work. Yes, now clear the hand. Seven really submissions in total for Magomedov. Yes. Well, Magomedov yes. is dangerous yes. everywhere. There's that body triangle. Short. He's in a body triangle, but CJ's got a good ability to try to move himself into a better position from it. Now you see Magomed getting his hips back square. Black him out. out. And just right there, beautiful movement by CJ. But Magomedov is just letting him roll underneath and he's in trouble. And Magomedov ground and pound on CJ Hamilton. Going to the body, going to the head. Yes, dropping go. these right hand missiles as Mago Man and Mago made up. Hammer fist to, to Hamilton. Move it, move it. Hamilton trying to defend, eating these shots. And wow, what a belly to back. Suplex by Mago Made up. Pounding CJ Hamilton. Again, C.J. Hamilton taking the fight on short notice against the number five ranked bantamweight in Bellator MMA. And I think, John, you may be another one who thinks maybe Mago made up to be ranked a little bit higher. Oh, uh, you know, I know there's no doubt. Oh, spinning back into the liver to there the by liver, Mago exactly. Exactly. You can see that it hurt him. Just that movement you're right there, that's telling you that that spinning back kick landed. It was effective. And again, look at how flat footed CJ is. When he took out that, his right leg, and he seems to have a little difficulty. They're spinning back kick right to the, the oblique. And this is what makes Magomedov so good. Oh, jumping knee by. Magomedov. He can fight in every range. If he's outside, he's got beautiful spinning kicks, good attacks from the outside. When he gets into boxing range, he uses his hands well, and when he gets into a clinch range, he dominates people with position. Magomedov in his 10th year as a professional mixed martial artist. Hamilton looking for the guillotine. Yeah, CJ's going for it, but he does not have it, and he needs to right now let go of that head. Good job of CJ to let go of it, or he could have wow. ended up getting choked himself. And Magomedov continues to add to his striking totals. One-sided traffic in the striking department, John. And now there's Magomedov. There we go, tap. Rear naked choke victory for Magomedov. Magomedov. That's his eighth submission, second Good. rear naked choke, and he improves to 18 and 1, 2 and 0 in the Bellator bantamweight division. And yeah, if I had a hat, hats off to second CJ round, Hamilton. One, two, takes two, a fight on short notice, gave him everything he could, but he was in. Hey, like they say, levels to this thing. You're absolutely right. That's what we talk about. You just start getting in there with a guy that he just starts pulling you into waters where your head just starts going under the surface, not good. You know, this this is just small ground pattern, but then he goes to the elbows, and CJ's in trouble as far as not being able to really stop anything that's happening. He tries to get himself back up. You see Magomed grabbed and jumped into wow. that beautiful flying knee right there. This is a guy that has a dynamic attack in all ranges. That's what makes him so dangerous to every fighter in the Bantamweight division. Here he goes, gets the choke, goes to the ground with it. Look at this, just a palm to palm. Rear naked choke. CJ just cannot take the squeeze of it. Look at the leg locks on it. Just a beautiful performance overall by Magomed Magomedov. But let's make it official now with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, one minute, 22 seconds in the round number two, the tap by way of a rear naked choke for the winner by submission, Magomed Tiger Magomedov. All right, Magomed Magomedov receiving congratulations from CJ Hamilton, who again took the fight on short notice. Let's go to Big John. Magomed.
That was an outstanding performance. Your second win in a row here in the Bellator cage. How are you feeling right now? I feel great. You see everything. Might be I didn't show everything I, I would like to, to show you, but I'm happy that I got the victory. I think that you showed quite a bit. We had suplexes, we had spinning attacks, we had beautiful ground control, a beautiful rear naked choke finish. You were ranked fifth in the inaugural Bantamweight rankings. Is that where you think you should be, or who do you think you should be fighting next? Мы достаточно увидели в этом бою суплексы, отлично удышаешь, и ты красиво закончил бой. До этого боя ты находился на пятой строчке в рейтинге. Ты думаешь, ты поднимешься? Я не думаю, что я поднимусь. Это боец, ну и не из рейтинга был. Я хочу поблагодарить соперника, который вышел на замену, что получился бой. Без него это не получилось бы. Ну, я не скажу, что как-то я там сто процентов напряжен был. Я просто наслаждался, наслаждался. I don't think so. I will go too, too high in the rankings uh, because my opponent wasn't, uh, wasn't, in the, wasn't ranked opponent, but I'm very grateful that he took this fight because without him, this fight wouldn't happen. But I just enjoy myself in this cage tonight. Well, I will tell you that was a fantastic performance. You showed all types of different ranges of fighting and different techniques. Congratulations on a wonderful victory. We hope to see you again soon. Я хочу сказать, этот, я нахожусь на пятом месте, и я хочу драться с кем из топ-5. Я не хочу оглядываться назад, я хочу драться, кто впереди меня, и хочу сказать, Хуан Арчулете, я наблюдаю за тобой. Держи это поезд для меня, я скоро приду за ним. I would like to fight someone from the top five. I want to move forward. I don't want to fight anyone out of the rankings or below me. And I want to say, Juan Archuleta, keep this belt for me. I'm coming. That's what I want to hear. Magomed Magomedov. Dagestan fighter. Yes, he is a Dagestan fighter. One of many dynamic fighters from Dagestan. Magomed Magomedov said he enjoyed himself tonight. I'm sure fans watching all over the world, including our friends watching in the UK on BBC, high player enjoyed Magomed Magomedov's victory here tonight, putting a, well, a nice finish on what has been a festival of finishes during the Bellator 255 prelims.